guys, welcome to my channel, another video from Marine Engineering. Today we are going to make internal inspection of the auxiliary cargo boiler which we have on board. Right now I am on the crude oil tanker, 75,000 dead weight and we have here steam turbines for discharging instead of Framo. I've been on a, I've been on the ship's safe size. 75,000 dead weight, but I've been on Framo and on Marflex. Now, on this ship, I will not mention the name of the ship, this ship has steam turbines for discharging cargo. We have three Mitsubishi steam, uh, steam turbines. This is the cargo pumps, which is driven by the steam. And in that case, we have two, two auxiliary boilers, one and two. Now this comes on standby. We are carrying out internal inspection of the boiler, which you will see on the video of what we are doing. We are inspecting condition of the pipes. Inside, we have vertical wall pipes. And this is the water tube boiler, water tube medium range boiler, which is working pressure 15 bars. This is not 6 bars like on dry cargo, it's 15 bars, medium pressurized boiler. Another one boiler is working here. As you can see now, 6 bars. now boiler is in operation. Why is here six bars? Because in the control room we have the panel for the boiler. Here it's our control room and we have the panel for the boilers. As you can see this one which is written slave. It's on the standby we open it now and perform the washing. Another one is a master and he working on 25% of the load. And we can see it here. It's working on auto, yes, and it's working on the low mode, as I mentioned before. You can choose low, high, master or slave. And it's very convenient and easier. From here we are operating for, for IgG and for cargo oil pumps, which one boiler will be choose for them. Now, while we are loading cargo, now we are in the Mexico and we are loading fuel oil on our storage tanks. And in that case, our boiler working on low mode. We can choose option between high and low mode. But for discharging, to run steam turbine pumps and to run IG full gas, we have to choose option high mode of the working one of these boilers, one for the IgG and another one for steam turbines. Because we have here two boilers and we have one more economizer. This is a crude oil tanker and this is typical for the crude oil tanker to have two boilers. Somewhere you have only one boiler but it's much easier if you have two boilers. One boiler is working for, for two gas IG and another boiler is working for cargo oil pumps which is driven by the steam. What is the specific for this boiler? Where you have rotating burner, where is the air coming together with the fuel to disperse the fuel through to the combustion area? No. It's a steam atomizing boiler, which is much better heating properties and heating transmission for production of the steam. How is going on? Here we have main burner. Here it's coming steam. As I said, 
here coming steam, here coming fuel. This is the handle. And then he has very big nozzle here. And he is it is dispersing the fuel together with the steam. This is typical Alborg, Alborg boilers. And as per maintenance manual, we have got on boiler number two to investigate and to carry out internal inspection. What does it mean? We are open at smoke site and the lower part, and then we are we are inspecting the water tubes in which condition they are. I said this both boilers. They are water tube boiler. Our economizer is fire tube. This is a different type of the boiler. These two boilers, we are investigating the tubes from inside to see in which condition they are. Are they are full with the suits? Are they are full with the suit deposits? And all other deposits which can be reduced heating properties during working the boiler. Why we are doing that? We to remove the suit deposits from them. Why? Because if you have too much suit deposits on the on the water tubes, you will have less heating properties and less heating energy transmission. Because as we know, in the Fournain area, we have chemical energy which is transferring to the heat energy. And what happens if we have so much soot and other carbon deposits on the pipes will be less heating properties and less heat transmission and will be what more consumption of the fuel can lead to the damage of the pipes, can lead to the damage of the boiler and we do not like to do that. The key for our maintenance is prevention, preventive and corrective maintenance of board. We are doing always mostly on the prevention as per running hours. That's it. I hope that this video helped you. Normally, why to keep one boiler for IG plant and for cargo oil pumps? We are keeping separate. One boiler for IG plant and another boiler for cargo pumps to run on 50, 60, 40 percent. It depends on the requirements. How we are washing, it's just we have special nozzle spray that wash till we not see by our eyes it's everything good wash and that is uh, that the deposits are removed that's it now i will make one more time inspection to see before start this operation to depressurize the boiler why that to avoid the boiler going in the vacuum the steam side and to avoid that you have the purge valve here is the purge valve this is like vent i opened it yesterday now no more steam in the steam drum which i'm staying now here down is the steam drum it's a zero bar pressure of the steam if you close pure valve, the boiler can go in the vacuum and can lead to the damage and make the dents and the damage of the balls of the boiler. It's very dangerous. And now when we will finish this washing, when we close everything, once we will restore this boiler again in service, we will keep pure valve open till steam not coming there, till positive pressure not appears in the steam drum and steam should poop up here and once we get that then we can close purging valve and we can keep boiler in the service thank you for watching this best regards from crude oil tanker if you have any questions please ask and then i will willing uh, to i will will to share with you these two guys assisting to me today as i said on board everything is a teamwork and we need to work and to cooperate on international basis, not only one nation and then to be good. Best regards for all Filipino nation. What is this channel? Oh, out. Yeah, <laughs> and this guy. How is going on, sir? All good, sir. Yeah, sir. 
see if I fall the bushing. Maybe you cannot see it good, but he's trying and giving all the best. They are young ratings, boiler and piper. But uh, both of them have marine engineering education. One day as soon they will be engineers. That's why we are caring for each other and doing everything as per maintenance manual. Always stick to the maintenance manual and you will never get mistake. Thank you for watching this video. Stay with me on my channel will be more. I will I'm planning to make a video for cargo oil pumps as well. Pump room also. And best regards from through the tanker. Yeah, well you can see here the beautiful view.